Hey, what is up everyone? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Fennec Shand from the Book of Boba Fett. So I, I can tell you right away, just having this in hand, this is an instant favorite and she's not even out of the box yet. And speaking of boxes, comes in the galaxy packaging with the artwork on the side. Nice big window. You can see Fennec, got her helmet and the rifle. That is a modified MK sniper rifle. Pretty cool. And we got a new color for the Book of Boba Fett. It's kind of an olive green pretty sweet and you got Fennec Shan down there and Star Wars the Black Series up top. On this side of the box the front window wraps around and then you have Star Wars the Black Series again down there. And on this side of the box you have a great looking picture of Fennec Shan just looking fine and this green I like it. You've got a small window on the top of the box. On the bottom you got the barcode and all this stuff that no one reads. And on the back of the box you have the same picture as the side. You have a short bio in five different languages. Fennec Shan is number one in this new Book of Boba Fett line and then you have some more stuff that no one reads. I'm going to get Fennec Shand open and let's take a look at her. All right, so here we have Fennec Shand out of the box and let's just take a look at her from head to toe. And this face is stunning. They did an incredible job. I mean, this is a great likeness to Ming-Na Wen. The eyes, the nose, the mouth looks great. Skin tone is good. I mean, this is one of the best face sculpts they've done. I, yeah, I have n absolutely zero complaints about this. They knocked this out of the park. And the hair, all these little orange strings throughout the hair are, ugh, it just looks so good. The braids are great. The ponytail coming down looks fantastic. All the little color in here, the orange. Now the ponytail is a little stiff, like when you turn the head, it sticks out, it stays out. So that that's, you know, to be expected. But if you just have her head neutral, it hangs off the shoulder pretty well. That's what the back looks like. Nice little, you know, how it's tied in the back, a little bun. But all this in here, man, A+. plus. But again, this face is hard to beat. And from the neck down, let's just take a look at her outfit. So up here, I mean, this, it's black and orange, but all the detail is incredible. All these lines up here, this little device, a little orange there, and yeah, it looks good. Great texture on the sleeves. The orange paint is very cleanly applied. Love that. The shoulders look good. Man, yeah, I'm blown away at this so far. Great texture in here. Very clean orange back here. Orange on these van braces. Black gloves. I mean, this looks really, really good. But you know, you got some great stuff going on in here. It's it's too bad they didn't make a little door to, uh, you know, to pop off to reveal the cybernetics. You know, that's on the Hot Toys version. Black Series. No chance of getting that, but it sure would have been nice. But the texturing in here looks killer. Love this in the back. Great texture. I mean, the textures throughout. I mean, back here, great detail. This skirt piece, it's just this dark gray, black color. But, man, the detail is incredible. All this in here looks really, really cool. The orange down here is nice. The legs are just black. But, but once again, cool little detail there great texture. The boots, orange, once again, cleanly applied, and all the way down to the feet. I mean, great sculpt up here. They even put a little tread on the bottom. I mean, that just looks absolutely killer. The back of the skirt is kind of stiff. Yeah, it doesn't want to bend up, but the back of the legs are just, you know, it's the same. Same kind of texture going on up here, but what, what a good-looking figure. This is incredible. Oh, and this little thing on the belt is pretty sweet, too. Got this little bit of silver and orange. I mean, every, everything on this looks so good. But let's run through articulation on Fennec Shan. I almost said Ming-Na Wen. On Fennec Shan, so you got some side to side of the head. The head, it doesn't go down very far, and it doesn't go up very far, but you do have some pretty good tilt. And there's also a hint of front and back of the neck. The arms get up to there. And they can rotate all the way around. And sadly, this figure does not have butterfly joints. Any kind of sniper character, I think, would really benefit from butterfly joints. But there's not really... I mean, you can see the joint flex a little bit, but it's not an actual butterfly joint, I don't believe. She has single-jointed elbows that get way past 90. There is a swivel at the elbow, a swivel at the wrist. The right hand has an up-and-down hinge. And the left hand has the side-to-side -side hinge. She has some twist at the midsection. She crunches forward just a little bit. She goes back that much... And you've got some pretty good side-to-side -side tilt. So this front skirt piece just kind of falls out of the way. So that allows the legs to get up to there. Legs go out that far. They only go back to there. 
There's an upper thigh swivel. There's a swivel at the knee joint. Single jointed knees that get up to there. The feet go down that far. They don't go up much at all. And there's some swivel at the ankle. And as far as accessories, there's a good look at her modified MK sniper rifle. Pretty cool weapon. I mean, the sculpt in here is fantastic. Love the scope. The stock looks really good. Cool looking grip, big trigger guard. All this up in here just looks fantastic. I mean, everything, really, really cool weapon. You've got some nice detail on the strap. Got some orange here and there. Got some, you know, little grooves cut in it. Really, really cool weapon. And as far as her holding this weapon, this, <laughs> her hands are really small and this grip isn't the smallest thing in the world. It was kind of a pain to get her hand around this grip. You know, once it's in, it's in. It's not going to go anywhere, but this was kind of a chore. You really, really had to deform the hand to, to get the thumb to go through there. But um, I think it's a pretty good look. And as far as getting her to hold it with two hands, let's see. Yeah, that goes on pretty well. And holding it low, I think that's a really, really good look there. And you can get it up to her face just about. That's not bad. The trigger, well, the, the right hand wants to pull out of here so bad when you try to get it up next to her body, you know, close to her face. But once it's there, it does stay pretty well. The strap wants to flare out this way. This thing has a lot of memory in it. But um, that is actually a pretty good look with her practically aiming through the scope. I mean, it's not bad. The, the scope actually winds up a little bit farther back, you know, than it should be. But um, still a good look. And the fact that she can get the rifle up there, yeah, that's an A plus for me. So next, let's take a look at this helmet. So it's just orange and black with a little touch of silver there, and then got some lines back here and back there. This is very stormtrooperish actually, but that's what the top looks like. You have a little bit of dirtiness in there, like in the grooves there where the lines are. Yeah, just a little bit of dirtiness. Got a little bit of sculpt there. Bottom half is a pretty cool texture. Got some nice lines. Kind of wish the slit was a little wider. I mean, this thing is kind of flexible, but not that flexible. Um, but it's a pretty cool helmet, and I think they did a pretty good job of, of matching it to her actual helmet. So let's see how this goes on her head, and that is really, really tight. Okay, that goes there. All right, so once it's on her head, you can't really see her eyes, but if you kind of force that down, it kind of stays there. You can push down some more and pull the black part down some more. Now you can just Barely see your eyes. This is such a tight fit. There, that's a little better. It's not too bad. Now I can tell this thing fits super tight and I don't think I'm gonna leave this on for any extended period of time because I don't want it to rub the nose. But <laughs> yeah, that, that's fitting. Let's see. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good look there. I would love to get the right up. Oh, see, the, it, yeah, the right hand just came off and uh, let's see if I can get this thing to go back on there. Yeah, you can't quite get the rifle up there in a true sniping pose, but it's close. It's very, very close. Uh, but this, this helmet does look good. It's just, it's so tight on her head. You know, but if you bring the black part down, it kind of exposes the eyes a little bit. And that looks pretty good there. There, I put the right hand back where it goes. The thumb was really getting deformed and bent. But uh, yeah, that, that's what that looks like with the helmet on. Somewhat of a sniper pose, and you know, once again, you can't quite get the rifle up there next to her face without the right hand just being pulled off. I don't know if it's the ponytail getting in the way or this little chest armor getting in the way. Not sure, but it is really close, and um, she really looks good with that rifle. And the helmet also looks pretty good. Yeah, what, a, what an awesome figure. Just like I mentioned at the beginning, instant favorite. And let's see how this comes off. So, mm, man, this is tight. Okay, so yeah, you can sort of just roll it off of her head. And I mean, it looks like it would not beat the nose up, but it's so hard to tell. You know, once it's on, it's such a tight fit. But just like I mentioned, I probably won't leave this helmet on for any length of time just to avoid rubbing the nose. Plus, I want to see this gorgeous face, so I think I may just leave this thing off. And I'm going to take the rifle out of her hand and see how the sling works. So that can go like that and... <laughs> Okay, that looks really, really good. That hangs really nice. Yeah, I, that's actually a pretty good look there. And that's what she looks like on the shelf next to Tython Boba. I just have the helmet in my hand right now. But uh, she is a good height. She's a, quite a bit shorter than Boba Fett. And uh, this is probably where she's going to stay right now. 
But if I move her up here with some of the Mandalorian characters, let's see. So she is shorter than Bo-Katan and Casca Reeves. And in relation to Din Djarin and Q90. So she's shorter, which I think is pretty accurate. Um, <laughs> what a good looking figure. I am so happy with this one. This is one of the best ones they've done. So yeah, A plus on Fennec Shand. This face... This is one of the best faces I've seen in the Black Series. I mean, this is a striking resemblance to Ming-Na Wen. They did an excellent job here. The hair is great. Love the ponytail coming down. The orange and the black just work. I mean, all this up here, fantastic. Love this. Orange, silver, just little accents here and there. Arms. This section, the skirt, everything. The rifle is awesome. Everything just looks so good on this figure from head to toe. And I think they did a pretty good job on the helmet. I mean, yes, the slit is a little small, but once you get it on her head, I mean, like all the way on her head, just kind of spread that out a little bit and it'll actually stay. And it's a good look. And I mean, this is Phoenix helmet. I think they did a good job on it. But please comment below. I would love to hear from you guys and let me know what you think of Phoenix Shand. I mean, I have really no complaints about this figure at all. This is a fantastic figure and I am so happy to have it. And if you like videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and please turn on notifications because I'm always posting something. I would certainly appreciate it. And I just thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see y'all next time.